So I'm going to, going to be a bit fast when it comes to explaining uh, implicit differentiation because I believe you have done it um, in your first year. And um, where I need to explain, I'm going to be explaining. Yeah, so don't worry when I say I'm going to be a bit fast. All right, so this is a very simple topic. It just involves the normal differentiation that we know, except that um, when you remember um, in your first year or when you remember whenever we are differentiating, we always have a function that is in this format, y is equal to fx. So this uh, uh, function, this function is also uh, known as an implicit function, except that you people are not told that it, it the way we, I mean, we differentiate this one using implicit differentiation. Yeah, so most of the people only came to learn about implicit uh, differentiation um, when you have something like this. Yeah, when you, when you are dealing with lean functions, yeah, so a lot of people knew implicit differentiation when dealing with lean functions, but otherwise uh, implicit differentiation um, also applies when you have y is equal to f of x. So this is actually used, um, this type of differentiation is normally used when uh, the, the power of y is uh, more than uh, one, so you can have uh, y to the power two or y to the power three, or you can have a function that are, that is in the format x, I mean, y is equal to x, y to the power three uh, plus x, so plus y. So if you have um, this function, which is in this format, and they tell you to differentiate this function, the only way you can differentiate this is by using implicit differentiation. So let us see how we're going to apply this in, differentiate, uh, in differentiating functions. So this is uh, an implicit function I was talking about. And then there is, uh, I mean, there are some examples that we have here on the screen. Yeah, so these are the functions that we uh, used uh, to. So this one, you differentiate it using the normal power rule. This one is a um, product rule because you have two functions that are multiplying. Even implicit differentiation when you have something like this, let me write here, when you have y is equal to x, uh, y to the power two, uh, dif uh, sorry, let me not say y to the power, let me say, um, okay, let me use another letter this side, instead of, um, you can have maybe u is equal to x, uh, y to the power three, they ask you to differentiate this function with respect to x. So this is a very simple function uh, to differentiate because you have two functions they are multiplying, you are also going to use what? Uh, product through to differentiate this one. Let's see how we're going to do that in the next session. And then uh, here you use the quotient rule to differentiate this because you have two functions that are dividing uh, themselves. So even in implicit differentiation, you may be given something like this, y um, is equal to, maybe you have, um, you have x plus y x over, uh, over x. Then they ask you to differentiate um, this function. They ask you to differentiate this function. Because you have these two functions dividing themselves this side, you use what is known as implicit differentiation. Uh, I mean, uh, the quotient true of implicit differentiation. All right, so let's quickly move on and discuss um, this uh, topic. So it's a very simple topic. Let's look at... Um, the formula for implicit differentiation. So you may be given a function f of y. So when they say f of y, it means that the function contains y. Yeah, so if we say f of x, let me use white. So if we say f of x, f of x means that the, the terms that we have here, they have x in them. So when we say f of y, when you, when you have f of y, this implies that the function that we're going to have this side is going to contain y at some point. All right, so how do you differentiate any function that contains y in it? So this is the formula here. The formula that you are seeing on the screen is the formula that you apply. So meaning if you have f of uh, y, and then they've, been, they've told you to differentiate this with respect to what? To x. So what you do is 
you first have to differentiate the function with respect to y. You are going to differentiate the same function f of y with respect to what? To y. And then you multiply it um, with the derivative of um, this, um, yeah, with the derivative, which is the, the derivative of that same function with respect to x. Yeah, so the derivative of the same function with respect to what? To x. That's what it means. So what I mean is, if you've been given, let's say, two uh, y, let me let me say, if you've been given that u, u is equal to maybe y squared, how do you differentiate this one? So differentiating this one is simple. You're just going to say, do you? They've been. Let's say if they ask you to differentiate this with what? With respect to x, du dx is therefore just going to be. So we differentiate this function with respect to what? To y. So when you differentiate this function with respect to y, we're going to have 2y. And then you multiply this with what? dy dx, dy dx. So this is how you differentiate. Let me give you another example. Let's say you have uh, a function and then they are asking you to, to, to differentiate it with respect to what? To x. And then this function is simply just, um, Let's say you have u is equal to x squared. Um, yeah, you have x. Uh, let me not uh, first give you this one. We're going to discuss this one. You have maybe uh, 3x to the power 4. How do you differentiate this with respect to x? Sorry. Let me put y there. How do you differentiate this with respect to y, uh, to x rather? So do you dx, du dx is therefore going to be uh, four times three. This will give us what? 12, and then to be 12 y to the power what? Four minus one, this will give me three. But after doing this, I have to multiply this with what? dy dx. This is the reason why whenever you have a question which is, y, which is in the format y is equal to uh, two x, uh, squared and they ask you to differentiate this. This one is very simple because when you're differentiating y alone, you simply just have, or, or let me use the implicit to differentiate this one. So you differentiate y, uh, when you differentiate y, since the power is one, you're going to say one times the coefficient there, you get one and then one minus one, you get what? Uh, zero, so y to the power zero, <laughs> will give you what? So let me write y to the power zero. We'll give you that y to the power zero. That's what we're going to get there. And then we we'll multiply this with what? dy dx. So when you multiply that with dy dx, this is what we're going to have. And then this other side, we also differentiate this with respect to x, and this will give us four x, uh, that's so. And then y to the power zero is what? One. So we're going to have one times <coughs> one times dy dx being equal to what? 4x and 1 times 1 times dy dx, this will give us what? dy dx, and this will be equal to 4x. So this is where you see um, if you have a function that is in this format. So instead of going through all this procedure, they just tell you that if you have a function which is in this format, you simply just say dy dx. So the dy dx is actually coming from the implicit differentiation. So this is the, these are the, the correct steps that one has to take. All right, so let's quickly, let's quickly look at some examples. Okay, so we have this question here, which says differentiate the following functions with respect to X. So in other words, if you look at the questions clearly or properly, you discover that uh, we have done, we have already done these questions. Yeah, so I'm going to say let you, you can equate this function to any variable. So let you be equal to, 2y to the power 4. So finding du, uh, I've been asked to, to differentiate this with respect to x. So finding du dx is therefore just going to be what? Uh, so this is going to be, I'm going to differentiate this normally, which is uh, 2 times 4 there will give me 8. And of course, I'm going to have y. And then 4 minus 1 will give me what? 3. But remember, you have to multiply this with what? dy dx. So this is the derivative of this function. So we also do the same. We also do the same with uh, sine 3t. So sine 3t, I'm going to equate it to you as well. 
So differentiating this with respect to x, du dx is going to be what? You differentiate this with respect to, um, with respect to what? To, to t. Yeah, so we differentiate this with respect to t and we're going to get what? Three cos three t. The normal way we differentiate that this function, you differentiate what you have there, you get three, then you multiply it by the derivative of sine theta, which is sine, uh, rather, which is cos uh, three t in this case. And then after doing that, you multiply everything with what? dt dx. So this is the derivative of this function with respect to x. Okay. So I don't know if you have any questions before we can proceed, but this is a very simple question, I believe. Okay, so let's quickly move on. So this is what I was just talking about. So that is the uh, solution that we got. Then on the other one, we also got that. All right, so let's quickly move on. We have another question here, which says differentiate the following functions with respect to X. So we have, four lean five y. So this is also a very simple question. We are going to have, we're going to equate that to uh, u. So we say, let u be equal to four, um, let u be equal to four uh, lean five y. So you have a number of ways in which you can differentiate this. So differentiating this function, if you remember very well, it's uh, a very simple um, uh, function. It's a very simple, I mean, it's very simple. So um, this is just going to be, so if we want, we can first raise this to the power four. Yeah, there are a number of ways you can differentiate this. So we are going to raise that to the power four. So I'm going to say this, you can also be written as what? Lean five y raised to the power what? four. And then uh, differentiating this is very simple. We're differentiating this with respect to x. Hence we say du dx is equal to, um, this side here, this is going to be, so differentiating this, remember we said you differentiate this function divided by the original function. So when you differentiate this function, this is going to be uh, five to the power four. And then um, when you differentiate y to the power four, this will give us what? Uh, so we're saying times four, uh, y to the power three. And then we're multiplying with, uh, before we multiply, we divide by the original function, which is five raised to the power what? Uh, I mean, this is uh, the original function will be five y to the power four. Then we're multiplying everything by, um, yeah, so the derivative of this, we say we, we differentiate this then after differentiating that, we multiply everything uh, by what? We, we uh, Rather, we divide everything by the original function. Yeah, and then since it's simplicity, we're going to multiply this by dy uh, dx. So uh, when you simplify this, you discover that you're going to have uh, x to the power four, I mean, five to the power four there, we'll cancel with this five to the power four, then, you are just going to remain with um, um, four y to the power three over y to the power four. And uh, this is multiplied by dy dx. And this is going to be, uh, so y to the power three and one y to the power three there will cancel, meaning we just have four to the power what? Uh, I mean, four um, over y and then multiply by dy dx. So this is the expression for the solution. So it's as simple as that. So I'm leaving uh, this other part. Anyway, it's simple, let's just do it. I wanted to give it as an exercise, but I've just remembered that there's an exercise at the end. So you people should be submitting your exercises. It's important. Okay. So that is the solution we found. So for this one, it's also simple. You say u is equal to that. And what you do is you can, um, if you want, you can introduce lean on both sides. Yeah, but that I think to, to be a bit, um, 
it's going to take us a lot of time. So um, we can just do the direct way, yeah. You just, uh, uh, what's this? You just uh, find the derivative of the power and then you multiply it by the original function and then multiply it by the theta dx in, in this case, because we are differentiating everything with respect to x. Yeah, so the solutions are in the slide. I'm going to send the slide so that you can go through them. Yeah, in case you have any questions or you don't know what is happening, you feel free to ask me. Yeah, feel free to ask me. Okay, we'll proceed. Let us also look at uh, how we can differentiate um, implicit functions containing products and quotients. So I talked about this, that we're going to, uh, we're going to look at them. Okay. So we have an example here. We have a function. Okay, let me just write it so that I, I try to solve it as quickly as possible. Okay, so this is an example. We have, let's say you have um, u is equal to x squared y. Then they ask you to differentiate this function with respect to x. So we have two functions multiplying there. So what you do is you use the product rule. So using the product rule to find du d, dx, we are going to, um, so this one, um, yeah, so this one is not partial, these are not partial derivatives. So partial derivatives, you need to hold one constant. But in this case, uh, yeah, so in this case, um, we have to use implicity. So now, how do you apply implicity here? So the same way we apply uh, the product true that uh, in other functions, that's the way you use it even here. So dy dx, when you're dealing with um, the, uh, those just the normal functions, we say it's uh, uh, v u prime, that is the product true plus u v prime. So what you need to do even in this case is that you have to equate one to, uh, you have to equate, um, so I said this is u. Okay, let me not use u for the sake of uh, the, the, one, the other functions. Okay, so let's say we have, this is f of uh, x, y. We have f of x comma y. Okay, I don't know what I can, I don't know why it's failing to erase. Let me just do this. Okay. Okay, let's just solve this example here so that at least as I'm solving, you know what is, at least we are even um, doing, uh, as I'm solving it, at least you should be understanding. So we have two functions multiplying there. So I'm going to say, we have two functions multiplying there. So what I need to say is let u be equal to the first function there and v is going to be equal to the other function. So the first thing that I need to do is to find um, u prime. So u prime or differentiating this function with respect to x is simple. The same way we do the differentiation. So this will be three times two to give us six. Then we have x raised to the power three minus one. This will give us two. Then differentiating this function with respect to x, this is, uh, this is where we're going to apply implicity. So in applying implicity here, we're going to say our V prime is going to be equal to, this is going to be what? Two Y. Then since we've differentiated with respect to X and the variable we have here is Y, we'll have to multiply it by dy dx. So now we plug these two solutions in the, in the, what's this, in the formula for the product through which is U V prime plus V U, Prime. Okay. So we plug them into this expression. So um, my u prime, so I'm trying to find d2x3y2 dx. So my u is 2x to the power 3. And then I'm multiplying it with v prime. v prime is this part. 
which is um yeah so v prime is just this part which is uh 2y so i'm applying this with 2y dy dx then we say plus my v is y squared multiplying it with what uh u prime u prime is 6x squared so here is just the matter of simplifying two times two i'm getting four then i have x to the power three y dy dx and then i'm saying plus this will be six x squared y squared so this is how you deal with uh, the product true so even for the quotient true you do the same there's nothing that is different the same way we used to do the quotient true is the same way we are going to do it here except that where you're differentiating y with respect to x you use implicit differentiation okay let's take a look at this other example so this example here is asking us to differentiate this with respect to x so using uh, the quotient true because uh, these two functions are uh, dividing so we have to uh, resort to the quotient true so we're going to equate the numerator to what to u and then the denominator will be equated to what to v and we know that the quotient true states that dy dx is given by uh, v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. So this is the quotient true. So we now apply the quotient true there. But before we do that, we have to find u prime and what? And v prime. So our u prime here, we're differentiating u with respect to, uh, rather we're differentiating this function with respect to x and the function contains y. So what this means is that we differentiate the normal way we differentiate. So differentiating three y will simply just give me three, but because I'm using implicitly, I'm going to multiply this with dy dx. And uh, this one, we differentiate it the normal way and it's just going to give us two because we're differentiating it with, with respect to x. Even this one, we differentiated it with respect to x. That is the reason why we have dy dx this side. All right, so now it's just a matter of just um, uh, replacing back the expression there in the formula. So my dy dx is therefore going to be equal to um, v u prime. So my v is um, 2x. And then I'm multiplying this with what? Uh, u prime. U prime is uh, 3 dy dx. And then the other thing I have is a minus in between there. Then my u, my u is uh, 3y, so I have 3y, then I'm multiplying this with uh, v prime, v prime is 2, so we multiply that with 2, then we divide the whole expression by what? By v squared, so my v is 2x, so I'm multiplying this with my, uh, uh, rather I'm dividing this by 2 squared, so my dy, sorry this is not dy actually, it's supposed to be uh, d, 3y and then 2x there. So we have the 3y, the 3y and then 2x, dx is going to be, we multiply two times three, this is giving me three, uh, six, then I have x, um, sorry, not y there, three x, I mean six x, then dy dx, then minus three times two there will give me six y. Then everything is being divided by uh, two squared will be four, then x squared will be x squared. Yeah, everything be being divided by four x squared. And this is the solution. So it's simple, you can simplify it further because two can go into six and six and also four. So you can simplify this further. So you can write it as, um, 3x dy dx minus 3y, and then everything divided by 2x squared. So this is what you have as the solution. Okay, so we proceed to the next question. Uh, let's look at the further di implicit differentiation. So this one, we're going to have a lot of, um, uh, a lot of um, terms in one question. So how do you deal with such uh, uh, what's this uh, a situation? Let's look at this question here. So you have three x squared plus y squared 
minus 5x plus y is equal to 2. So this is a very simple, so this is a very simple question. You just differentiate them independently, the way we differentiate all other uh, uh, functions. So we, when, when we differentiate the first one there, we're going to get what? Two times three there, this will give me what? Six x. Um, yeah, this is going to give me six x. When I differentiate this one, so this one is going to give me what? Two y, but because uh, it's a function of y, I'm supposed to add what? dy dx. And then I'm going to say minus five x. So when I differentiate five x, I'm going to get five. When I differentiate y, I'm just going to get one, but because when I differentiate y, I'm going to get one, but because it's a function of y, I have to indicate uh, dy dx, I have to include dy dx. The derivative of two is simply just zero. So here it's just a matter of collecting the like terms and putting them together. So I'm going to get this and that, and I'll put it together. And then I'll take everything else to the other side of the equal sign. So what this means is that I'm going to have dy dx, which is common. So I'm going to have two y dy dx, and then I'm also going to get this dy dx plus dy dx. And then I'll say this is equal to this negative five across the equal sign and it become positive. And then this six x will also cross the equal sign and become minus six x. And then I'll factorize dy dx this side. So since dy dx is common, and then I'm going to remain in brackets with two x plus one. And this is going to be equal to five minus six x. Then from there, I'll divide on both sides by 2x plus 1, uh, 2x plus 1. And my dy dx is therefore going to be um, a function, which is going to be a rational function. This and that will cancel. And then the numerator this side will be 5 minus 6x, everything divided by 2x plus 1. So this is how you uh, deal with implicit differentiation, which involves. Is it, uh, sorry for interrupting. Isn't it supposed to be two y? Oh, sorry. Uh, wait, uh, sorry. Okay, it's supposed to be two y here, not two x. All right. It shows that you are following. Thank you very much for that correction. Okay, so this is how you do the differentiation using implicit functions. It's very simple. So let's quickly move on. Okay, so I was just trying to illustrate this and this is uh, what we got. All right, so we quickly move on. We have this question which says, differentiate z is equal to x squared plus three x cos y, uh, cos three y with respect to y. Okay, so we're differentiating this with respect to y. All right, so this is also a very simple question. Yeah, so differentiating z with respect to what? To y. So if we're differentiating z with respect to y, it means that the one that we're going to take as an implicit, um, uh, the one that we're going to differentiate in, in, a, in, in an implicit manner is simply x because we're differentiating this with respect to y. So d z dy is therefore going to be equal to, so we're going to say uh, 2x times d what? So this will be 2x times d, uh, dx dy. Then we say uh, plus, we differentiate 3x with respect to y. And this is going to be three, uh, I mean, this is going to, so since we have two functions multiplying, we have three X multiplying with cos um, three X, we have two, three X multiplying with cos, cos uh, three Y. It means that we're going to use the product rule. So we are differentiating. Remember, don't forget, it's not always that you're going to be differentiating functions with respect to X. In this case, we're differentiating with respect to what? To Y. So take note of that. So in this case, we're going to take, we're going to multiply three X, um, I mean, we have to differentiate 3x. When we differentiate 3x, I'm using the product true. We're going to get three, but because um, we're differentiating it with respect to y, we're going to add dx 
dy here, dx dy, and then after after differentiating this, we have to multiply it with cos three y, and then from there, um, yeah, and then from there, we also have to differentiate um, cos three y with respect to y, and this is going to give us what? This is going to give us three. Uh, when you differentiate cos, you get a negative. So we, we get um, negative uh, three and then sine three y. And then we multiply this with what? Three x. So here it's just a matter of um, simplifying. This is going to give us what? Yeah, so this is um, going to give us, um, yeah, so this is going to give us, um, mm, let's see. Uh, okay, it's just a matter of simplifying and there's nothing that we can simplify apart from multiplying this and that three X there. Yeah, otherwise everything else is just supposed to remain that, like that. Okay, so let's take, let's take a look at some other question. So we have this other question here, which is asking us to find dy dx. Yeah, it's also simple. So finding dy dx of this function is uh, simply just, uh, you differentiate independent terms there. So when you differentiate um, y with respect to x there, you're going to get four, um, four y. And then, yeah, so this is going to be four y. And then since it's y, multiply it with what? Uh, dy dx, and then uh, we have minus, uh, we get 20. When you differentiate 5x to the power 4, you're getting 20x to the power 3. And then when you differentiate negative 2, you get a 0. Differentiate negative 7y to the power 3, you are going to get negative 21y to the power 2. But because it's a function of y, we multiply it by dy dx. Differentiating 0 also gives you 0. So we just pair the like terms here. So we're going to have 4y dy dx and then minus 21 uh, y squared dy dx. And then this is going to be equal to uh, 20 x to the power three. So here's just a matter of factorizing. We have dy dx, then open brackets, we have 4y minus 21 y squared this is going to be equal to 20 x to the power three. So here's just a matter of dividing. So we have dy dx being equal to uh, 20 x to the power three over, we have four y minus 21 y squared. So it's as simple as that. So you guys, these things are simple. This one, you also do the same. Let me just look at the questions that are remaining. So we are in the last um, one minute. Let me just show you the exercise in advance. So there's an exercise at the end, make sure that you do it and send the solution. Okay. You send the solutions in PDF format. So this one is also simple, you do the same. Differentiate X squared with respect to X, you're getting two X. Differentiate Y squared with respect to X, you're getting two Y dy dx. And then differentiate 25 with respect to x, you're getting zero. So it's just a matter of um, taking this to the other side of the equal sign so that you have 2y dy dx being equal to negative 2x. So divide by um, 2y, divide by 2y, the value of dy dx becomes what? Negative x over y. So they are saying when x is what? When x is equal to four. So you just replace x there. And to find the value of y, you simply just have to put um, uh, the value of x there in the many equation and make y the subject of the formula. So I'm sure y would be something like a, a, a plus or minus three. So meaning the values of uh, dy dx you're going to find are going to be two when x is equal to positive three and x is equal to negative three. But the value of um, x will still be the same, which is x is equal to four. Yeah, so the values, the, the two values of y should also be replaced there independently. 
All right, so the remaining questions are simple. You 